Hey, Jace Tunnel here. Look what I got today. Is this creepy looking or what? This is a ghost uh, shrimp. And y'all might have seen the, the burrows and stuff before that are right at the, in the swash zone uh, when you're at the beach. They have little pellets that come out, which is actually uh, what they excrete uh, after they eat and everything. But these things can live like two meters, like six feet into the sand. Now, another cool thing about these goat shrimp is that a lot of people, you'll see them out in the surf playing and everything, and they have no idea that there's literally thousands and thousands of these ghost shrimp right under their feet. And they've got this interconnected uh, tubes. They don't just go down. Uh, you see a little bitty, little bitty uh, tube top at the top, but as it goes down, it widens out and they've got these cavities and they're even known to connect to each other. So there's this huge network underneath the swash zone here that you would never know about and it goes all the way out to the second sandbar so what a cool creature to be able to have a network of tunnels underneath the sand right here now this is a big female uh, you can see all the orange on the bottom of it those are eggs so this uh, female is about to lay a bunch of eggs um, they they uh, have they're, they're called uh, shrimp because they kind of have a shrimp like look to them uh, big claws uh, they burrow way down and I came up on some folks that were using these to fish so they were catching them and, and using them for bait but how they catch them is very interesting they have a long PVC tube and it has another little suction device inside of it they put it over the hole uh, pull on that suction device and you can see all around there'll be water pumping out of these things and then the shrimp pops out now they call them a shrimp but these these little ghost shrimp that they're catching they're actually more closely related to a crab and you'll notice whenever i, I uh, show you or uh, the fellows that were catching these show you uh, they have big claws um, some of them you know depending on the size they're between uh, one inch to even four inches for the this is a pretty neat looking um, animal and uh, they've got little swimming paddles on the bottom that uh, can help them, you know, uh, circulate water uh, for movement. Now these feed on uh, different things that are in the sand, uh, microbes, um, you know, bacteria, uh, things like that. So they are feeding on very microscopic things, which is what you'd expect uh, with an animal with mouth parts that are uh, really small. Things that eat on them, fish, birds, uh, love to eat on these things. So you can see uh, birds that are uh, sticking their bill down inside of those uh, burrows and uh, pulling these things out of there. Um, Whooping cranes, a lot of people don't know, but whooping cranes, uh, a big part of their diet uh, are these. Okay, that's it for this episode of Beachcombe, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.